in three years, bro. That's and that's because, you know, I done spent a little time around you and you feel me like it's like you feel me I, like you, I, I see the story bro you really a, you really a movie so for real you feel me you know, I tell you that shit all the time and shit you feel me and you know I wanna cat I wanna catch you I wanna catch you while you still here uh, on this realm cause yeah. you know any moment it's really it's, it's really any moment you could be out of here you feel me you gonna be super busy and then I'm super busy and we we a bit but I see you bros. I said I, I got I gotta talk to my man Young Easy man. Everybody shout out Young Easy man. Easy, sorry, man. So let's uh where you at network you Let's go back, man. Take him take him to Young Easy. The younger Young Easy. <laughs> what how, what part of Baltimore are you from and how was it growing up? Just take it, take us back to the childhood. You know, I was born at uh, High on the Ridge Project. Shout out to the Ridge. Shout out to all my Ridge soldiers. That's a vibe for real. Um, until I was about like eight or nine, for real. Like eight or nine. I mean, no, I was probably like seven, going on eight or some shit like that. 97, 98, for real, right before they tore the project down. Grandmother raised us up in Sedalia, for real. God village, shout out to the whole six room. Really. Like that whole area was me. It was really no places that I didn't touch. Cause I was, you know, my mother used to work hard as a motherfucker. So I used to stay with family, whoever was available, I was with them, you feel me? And I mean, that's how I like was growing up. I, sometimes I had to go to work with my mother, you feel me? So I always had that hustler mentality. Like even beyond school, like my mother used to, used to go get me out of school to take me to work for her. So sometimes that showed me early at age, like some, sometimes you gotta cut it out and like, just hustle and get the money, like, you feel me? So I always had that hustle mentality, thanks to my mother for real. She kept me in church. Grandma kept me in church, you feel me? So I always had a spiritual background, religious background, you feel me? That was like really how I got into music, you feel me? Like seeing the drums and all that shit, like the drums was, that shit was really exciting. That was my okay, 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 speedy. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That's, 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 that's my next question, like, you yeah. know, where that love and that music started at? Yeah, it started love. in church, you know? Good. Believe it or not, it started in church. It started with, like, my mom just playing music around the house, cleaning up, you feel me? It started real young to where so I really can remember. That's how much music resonates with me, like, it's certain songs that were played and I told my mother like, dang, mom, you remember this song? I said, I said, like, dang, what you know, you was like two years old when that happened. How do you know that? Like, that song was playing, you feel me? So like music really resonated with me for real. Like all type of music. And it don't gotta be just rap for real. She really didn't even let me listen to rap for real. You feel me? Like, I used to sneak and listen to rap and she had hit me rapping and that was an ass whooping. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> she ain't wanna hear none of that shit. But yeah, that's me. Like, travel and like, hey. Mom's held it down, you feel me? Cause she, she put a lot in me for her, into her. So once again, man, like, I relate, you feel me? That's why I was like, I gotta get this interview. Yeah. Know? Cause I relate to this guy, you feel me? So since I don't really know the next question I need to ask you. When was, when did you hear that first rap album? Ah. That first rap, my first rap album. Who was that first rap artist or that rap no, album? It wasn't even an album. It was a album, song. It was, yeah, it was L Cool J. Yo. It was L Cool J that really like got my blood like going for hip hop. It was L Cool J. Yo, Mama said knock you out. He just he had just dropped the joint dissing. Uh, I think it was even who was cannabis. It? Cannabis. Yeah, he dissing cannabis, and he dropped that. Mama said knock you out, and I remember everybody on the bus going crazy, just screaming, mama said knock you out, like throwing stuff, we throwing stuff, it was just like the littest thing ever I've been through life, and I was just like, I gotta be, I gotta do something like this, like it's, I don't know, like it just gave me that rush, like, so then like every since I was just playing with little stuff, like remixing nursery rhymes, like my teachers used to get mad because we'd be trying to recite the, the nursery rhymes in class and I'd be rapping it. You feel me? Like Mary had a little lane, I would rap the lyrics like this shit. They'd be like, stop, you feel me? Like, you doing too much, like, you doing too much for her. So, my teacher, Miss Linda Williams, actually made me, she liked it. So, she made me do it in a, like a talent show for her. And I smoked it like five years old, right? <laughs> like five years old. You feel me? So, the mama said, knock you out, Mr. Remember? When I say I relate to this guy, yeah. you feel me? Because my mother used to throw me and my siblings at all the talent shows. Yeah. 
Up on Dom and yeah. the rack with Ella. Yeah. She got us yeah. singing Casey and JoJo and all yeah. that. Like, yep, yep. Yeah. I used to do that too. Like, I'll oh, play these tricks. Yeah. So I, I, I know we were scared of the light, yo. That's another thing. I was always in front of people. He's conditioned for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So once I really decided to, to do the rap thing, it was like I was never scared of the crowd. All right. Scared. So when was that time when you said, I'm going to do the rap thing? Yeah, when I dropped my first mixtape, when I first, when I decided to drop a mixtape, like fourteen years old, about twelve, I would say twelve. I would before before that, cause twelve, I was really like right. I was in my notebook, so I would say twelve. I I caught on like, yo, you got something. Like this is this different. Like if I decide to sit in the house and rap all day, I could literally fill up two or three notebooks with rap, no problem. You feel me? So that's when it was like resonating with me. Like I don't know, like this might be like some Jay Z type shit. You feel me? Like this is different. Like. This is crazy, like, really, and it's all making sense. It's really rap, you feel me? Like, so, and then I would take this shit and, like, rap it to my cousins, and they would call me, like, they would call me, like, you know, we had three-way back in the day. They would call two people on three-way, and other people would call two people on three-way. I'm talking about, it's like 20 people on three-way just to hear me rap this verse, you feel me? And that was, the, and that was another thing, because I was, like, put, I was, I was putting my own detention and shit. So, like, I couldn't come outside sometimes for real. Like, what I ain't you man? What, what I did there, yeah, I, I got okay. in trouble at school for like a fight or something okay. with, with the police. I never got into like, I ain't gonna say never, but I never really had to like, the beef. I never had beef. Like my beef was always with the law. You feel me? Like I always got in trouble like fighting the police and just, I mean, going at it with the police for real. So, well, like dumb shit, like drugs, like all weed and shit. You feel me? Like, I ain't got no crazy. So getting on the phone, like that was actually, um, your first introduction into marketing, you feel me? Like, yeah. you feel me building a fan base? Yeah, man. hell yeah, like, that was crazy. And like, my, my cousin, that's my right hand man, shout out my cousin Piff, remember, he, he used to do that shit, like, he was like a little manager, like, he used to call all his friends from school, like, yo, my cousin nice as a bitch, yo, y'all got his, you feel me, so. And then it's like, I'm at, I'm, I'm at my own school for real, you feel me, like, I'm on my own side, but I would have to come to these niggas' hoods and rap, you feel me? Like, because they live in, my cousins everywhere, Brooklyn, China, you feel me? Like, everywhere, east side, west side, we got family everywhere. So, me not realizing, I'm making my name good in all these hoods. Like, everywhere I'm doing all this and popping up, I'm making my name, I'm building my name. So, I'm at places where people wouldn't even expect an east side nigga from Sedonia, Zone 6, to be able to go for it, you feel me? But, I'm just, I'm just that original for real, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, my energy good, my energy great for real, so. That's good. That's what I. That's what I love about this rap shit. That's what made me really want to stick with it because I knew I could just be one of them energies everybody can fuck with for real. You feel me? Like, yeah. So like twelve, that's when it started resonating. But like fourteen, that's when we was able to use the phone and all that shit. Go to school, battle raps, all that shit. Like, I'm talking about crowds, crowds. Anybody that that was around, you was dead. You was in the six, yeah. They'd tell you who your favorite rapper was <laughs> around that time. Like for real, with no. Like question, like I know, like yeah, no question. So this, you know, you know, like I said, we just really started really kicking it, you feel me? So you know, I ain't never shared with you, you feel me? Like I, you know, I almost signed the Universal Motel and shit, yeah, 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 yeah. shit type shit. On the rap yeah, on the rap tip, I, I ended up going to prison and shit. I was fighting the case at the same time. Okay. Ended up going to prison, blowing all that shit. Came home, tried giving another shot, went back to prison, you feel me? Like, and I was just like, I can't, it became like, I can't play these two games, bro, you feel me? Like, I can't play the rap game and the street game. But, but at the same time, it's like, the street game inspires my rap game, you feel me? 100%. So it's like, so once I decided, that I'm done with the street game. The rap had to go because I'm not inspired. I can't really rap about. I can't. I can't rap selling drugs to you right now if I'm not doing it. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, hundred percent. I feel what you're saying. You gotta and, be in it. Yeah, yeah. like I, it gotta be authentic. You feel me? Yeah, because, well, around it at least. Yeah, this should change. I feel you know like I know some rappers that that be rapping and. uh I say I need fake rappers or like Nah, they get you know they be around the street. They be around it, so it's so like, yeah, like yeah. they get the stories. Right, niggas around you don't rap. But so I just could, I just, I just would, and like me having that journey, cause I'm gonna get into your journey, cause no, I know no, you. Talk your shit, bro. I need you talk your shit too. They need, they need to know. 
So, so by me getting going through that journey and like my entertainment lawyer, you find me, he was you know with Bad Boy, and but I'm seeing all these other people getting money from it while I'm trying to get a deal. All these people around me already making bread, and, and so that's when I was just like, I want to be a CEO, bro. You feel me? So, but I know you are in that that realm, that industry. Like, how did you? get introduced to the industry? Uh, I mean, every, a lot of people would think it was Jay Kiss for real. Like, everybody think that's, that, that's my, that was my first, but Kiss, oh, that was my first experience with like a, a artist giving me the opportunity for a record, like a deal, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, but being introduced to the industry, like I got to my man DJ Robbie Rob. Shout out to DJ Robbie Rob, G-Unit. You feel me, he running on tour with uh, 50 and them right now. And he was the, <coughs> excuse me, he was the first one that really like hit me to the game. You feel me? Like he shot me up from New York. I was in fucking college. You feel me? Like shot up to his studio and instantly I got introduced to Uncle Murder and Corey Guns. You feel me? Like and but he was just showing me the way to take me to certain places. He would introduce me to certain people and just I mean it was just showing me. It was just bringing me to get ready to be in these rooms and just know how to just play a role and just be you for real and not be starstruck and. <clears throat> all in my, like, you know, just, you know, in your phone and all that other shit, like, that phone shit phone, you feel me, like, like I had to figure that out, but when I figured, not that I was a phone guy, but, you know, you get in them, them predicaments around people, you want your moment, you want your picture, you want your video, all that, you just, sometimes you just gotta sit back and just read the room for real, you feel me, be a fly on the wall, you feel me, me being, like, me having so much confidence and faith in what I do, I don't have to be a fly on the wall. I, I know how to associate him, but I, I gotta get at the DJ Robbie Rob too because now I feel confident to walk in a room full of shucks and I feel like I'm one of the biggest ones to speak. Yo, what's up? You feel me? My name Young Easy. Ain't nobody got introduced me. Yo, Young Easy, go around that for everybody, you feel me? And then go do what I do, roll my weed, pour my drink, you feel me? It is what it is, you feel me? Like, but I gotta give it to Robbie Rob because Robbie Rob really like held me down, like treated me like a brother. I know his mother, everything, like, his mom's. Helped me when I was sick. You feel me? I came. With, I was coming to New York so much. The weather was changing. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was living from Alabama. I was living in Alabama at the time, so we were driving. 16 okay, hours. okay, okay. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta yeah. talk yeah. about Alabama because that's Alabama. crazy. You said Alabama because I was just on YouTube today, mm -hmm. and Alabama. You know the history of Alabama popped up. You yeah. feel yeah. me? And yeah. you know it showed like I the beach. Then it showed the. I used to live on the block. I used to live on the block. How did you get to Alabama?